everyone. Dave at Econoids asked me to give you a quick overview of the Norive Tradition iPad leather case. Now Norive is a, uh, um, a web-based company. They do use a few outlets around the world to sell their products in, but primarily I've always bought products from them uh, over their website address, which is norive.com. So you probably won't find this in your local uh, retail stores, but uh, it may be well worth ordering internationally. So when the package arrives, uh, it'll arrive in a box like this, and you can see the size of my hand here just to give you a sense for the box. And this will contain your, your iPad Tradition leather case from Norive. Now I've already opened the package previously, but uh, the case, which is right here, will be wrapped in plastic when it first arrives. They're all made in leather and uh, the default color being black. You can select different types of leather in different colors, so that will probably add a little bit to the waiting time. But as you can see, it's a uh, fairly glossy, nice leather, very soft to the touch, a little bit of padding. Has a magnetic clasp here, which is how it closes. And if I just showed you the profile, you can see how it sort of rises up in the back to account for the curved back of the iPad. That feels very nice. Just taking a look at inside the case. You can see that over here on the side where um, this will be uh, covering off the glass portion of the iPad, the front side, there are a few pockets. They suggest perhaps passport pictures if you're going to be traveling with your iPad or any sort of other documentation that you may want to store in the case. And the actual iPad itself slides in here using their rail system, similar to their uh, iPod touch cases and iPhone cases. So you can see that there's sort of a, uh, a metal case that's wrapped in either leather or some sort of plastic that looks like leather at this point, and a padded back with their logo on it. So why don't we just slide in the iPad and you can see what it looks like. So I'm now sliding in my 16 gigabit Wi-Fi iPad, and you can see that it just slides in connecting into the rails and holds it very securely. If I lift it up a little bit to give you a better overview, <clears throat> you can see that it uh, closes quite nicely with the magnetic snap. And you have access to all of the ports, headphone jack, volume controls, speaker, and the dock connector all from within the nice case. When you want to use it, just open the magnetic clasp and, and there you are. You can use it as a stand as well, if I can set this up quickly to show you, by just connecting the clasp backwards <clears throat> and then sort of balancing it against the clasp, like so. Or you can use it as a, I guess, a virtual keyboard in a way. You can also angle it like that to give you a little bit of an extra angle. Overall, I've been very happy with this case. It feels luxurious to the touch. I think it's quite good value as well. Currently, they're selling for uh, 65 euros on their website. I got this delivered to Canada for 94 Canadian dollars, including shipping, which I think is quite competitive given the price of other cases that Dave has reviewed on Geekanoids. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.